Hiya BookTube, Bill Rutenberg here at the Rutenberg Library. Come to you with a, another bookshelf tour. Uh, been a, it's been a week or so, since week and a half or so, since I've done a, a shelf tour and I wanted to get another tour. You'll notice my last one I did was uh, my number in shelf tours went from shelf 15 to shelf 17. Uh, I had to skip 16 because I had some, some video issues and so I wanted to reshoot this one. So if you notice them in the in the uh, the YouTube feed thing, the, the number's going to be out of order, but uh, that doesn't matter. Here we go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this uh, shelf tour started. So the first book on the shelf is The First World War by John Keegan. Of course, you guys are probably familiar with John Keegan, big time war historian. I look forward to reading this book. I've had it for a while. I love World War I, as I've shared on the channel before. This particular volume is from Vintage Books, a division of Random House out of New York, and it is a 1998, the original book was 1998, this copy is the year 2000. So look forward to reading that. Probably try to get that maybe this fall. Uh, the next one on the shelf is Fallen Founder, The Life of Aaron Burr by Nancy Eisenberg. And, uh, of course, Aaron Burr, he's, he is, uh, you know, fallen founder is the right way to look at him. He's, he's a little bit of a, um, well, not everybody's favorite. Let's just put it that way. He's, of course, the guy who killed Alexander Hamilton in their infamous duel. Uh, and he was a bit of a flip-flopper politically. He, he basically did whatever was good for him. Uh, so this book is a Penguin book, comes from Penguin Books. It is uh, the year 2007. All right, next one on the shelf is Custer's Gold, the United States Cavalry Expedition of 1874 by Donald Jackson. That's a little bit older edition here. Kind of a thin volume. This is from the University of Nebraska Press out of Lincoln. And it is a 1966 book, 1966. So that'll be a good one. Um, here's another thin volume. And this is from uh, Harriet Jacobs was the author, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. Uh, so this is a some slave accounts. This will go well with my, uh, I've read Frederick Douglass's uh, autobiography. I've read uh, Solomon Northrup's autobiography from, you know, 12 Years a Slave. So this is going to be good because it'll give me the female perspective of the slave's life. Um, this comes from Dover Publications out of Mineola, New York, and it is a 2001 book. It was originally published in 1861. So this is um, supposed to be a really, really good account of the life of women or female slaves you know life of from the female perspective uh, this is the life and selected writings of Thomas Jefferson edited with an introduction by Adriana uh, Koch and William Peden and so this is most of the, the writings of Jefferson or at least the the ones that get a lot of a lot of press so this is the modern library out of new york and it is a 1998 edition so that'll be a that'll be a good one to look through i've read some of it i've not read the entire thing all right the next one was out of our local public library this is the humorous mr lincoln by keith w jennison uh Irish soldiers, dead skunks, and other stories. A self-portrait of the backwoods boy who became president of the United States. And so, another thin volume. Of course, I'm a huge Lincoln fan, as I've shared with you. If you've been on the channel for any, uh, for any extended period, you know that I really like Lincoln. I've got a lot of his books, or books about him. This is from Bonanza Books out of New York, and it is a... Um, copyrights and Roman numerals and I've shared with you before I'm not very good with the the big Roman numerals anyway so um, anyway older older copy 
Next couple books on the shelf are on the Iliad by Homer. This is a hardback edition here. Yeah, I guess I can show that to you, sorry. There you go, this is a hardback edition. This is translated with an introduction by Richard Latimer, and I believe the other one is, yeah, this one is translated, the paperback is by Richard Latimer as well. Um, but this is from the International Collector's Library, the American headquarters in Garden City, New York, uh, 19, let's see, 62, it looks like. This one's 1962. And the paperback edition that I have, got a pretty cool cover on it. The paperback edition is, let's see... University of Chicago Press, Phoenix Books, uh, out of Chicago, and it is 1966, it looks like. So, about the same time period. Pretty close. I like this next one, or the cover on it anyway. I haven't read this one yet, but you see the painting on it. But this is Great Western Indian Fights by members of the Potomac Corral of the Westerners. And so compilation of a bunch of stuff put together let's see out of Washington DC it's edited by the publications committee of BW Allred JC Dykes Frank Goodwin and D Harper Sims from the University of Nebraska Press Lincoln and it is a 1960 book so I've shared with you before I've uh, recently in the last year picked up a lot of books on the Old West I've been trying to build my collection up as far as that goes, um, I, I haven't read very much on it, and so I'm kind of interested to, to do a little more learning in that arena. Next book is uh, a textbook of mine from college. Absolutely love this textbook. It was one of my favorite ones from college. Um, America, A Concise History, second edition. This is volume two. I showed you volume one in an earlier shelf tour, but this is volume two since 1865. And this is by James Henretta. David Brody and Lynn Dumenil. Hopefully I said that right. There you go. Back cover. And this is from the Bedford St. Martin's Press out of Boston and New York. And it is a 2002 book. Great set of textbooks. I, I use some of that in my middle school classes. They're, they're very easy to understand. I like them. Next one's a biography on uh, Yogi Berra. So, Yogi, a biography, The Life and Times of the American Original by Carlo DeVito. Uh, so, most of you are familiar. If you're baseball fans, you're probably familiar with Yogi Berra. He's got a lot of famous quotations from him. <laughs> Some of them are very, very funny. This is from Triumph Books. And it is 2014. Um, I got a pretty good collection of baseball biographies. Baseball is my, my favorite sport, and I've, I like reading about it. So next, next book on the shelf is Mrs. Robert E. Lee, The Lady of Arlington by John Perry. And I believe this is my first book on her. I don't think I have anything else on her. And let's see, published by Multanoma Publishers. Never heard of this one. Uh, 2001. And it comes out of Oregon. Sisters, Sisters, Oregon, it says. So I had never heard of that one. That was a new publisher for me. All right. Next book on the list. This is a genealogy book. I, uh, I like genealogy stuff. I've collected some books on just the subject itself done extensive research on my own uh, family history but this is finding your roots how every american can trace his ancestors at home and abroad by gene eddie weston with a forward by john j stewart and this is a little bit dated but with with genealogy what i found is uh, a lot of the techniques are pretty much the same no matter what time period the only the, the biggest difference has just been the online stuff and and you know allowing for all of the the different records to be put into a more accessible uh, 
more accessible databases and stuff. And so that's been a huge change in genealogy. But if you read these older books, the techniques that are used to sort things out is still a lot the same. A lot of it's still the same. So this was published by J.P. Tarcher, Incorporated out of Los Angeles, and it is a 1977 book. All right, next one on the shelf, The American Presidency by Clinton Rossiter, The Powers and Practices, uh, The Personalities and Problems of the Most Important Office on Earth. A little bit older copy here. And this is from, let's see here, if I can find it. Oh, Harvest Book, Harcourt Brace, and World Incorporated out of New York, and it is a 1960 book, so a little bit older, but uh, you hear Clinton Roster's name in the, in the uh, sources, the back of the books, quite often, and so wanted to put that on the shelf. So the next three are all by Daniel Borston, and it was a series of... Uh, it's a history on the United States called The Americans. The National Experience is this first one. And uh, Borston has edited a lot of different books or helped to edit. Um, this one's from Vintage Books, Division Random House out of New York. And this is 1965. The next one is The Americans, uh, The Colonial Experience. And... Vintage books again, and it is, let's see, 19, this one's 1958. And then the next one is The Americans, The Democratic Experience. And so this one, again, Vintage Books out of New York by Daniel J. Borston. This one is 1974. So that was that three book series. They all kind of go together. Next one's a thin volume. This is a pretty neat, was a pretty neat find, at least for me. Again, I'm a big Lincoln fan. So uh, it's the Memorial Address on the Life and Character of Abraham Lincoln by George Bancroft. Of course, Bancroft, long time uh, historian. And this particular copy, uh, let's see, Memorial Address on the Life and Character of Abraham Lincoln delivered at the, uh, the request of both houses of the Congress of America before them in the House of Representatives at Washington on the 12th of February, 1866. So this is a uh, Washington government printing office, 1866. And so a really cool copy to have. This is Faith in the Game, Lessons on Football, Work, and Life by Tom Osborne. So I was a big Tom Osborne fan. My coach in high school was a huge uh, Nebraska fan, and we ran the uh, the option offense. And, of course, I was the quarterback, uh, well, for part of my high school years anyway. And so I got to run the option. And, and so we, we looked to Tom Osborne and the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the 1990s. They were a pretty dominant team. Um, so anyway, this, this book's by the coach, Tom Osborne. Broad, uh, Broadway Books out of New York, the Waterbrook Press out of Colorado Springs, and this is a 1999 book, 1999. All right, getting towards the end here. So this is Booker T. Washington, Up From Slavery, and uh, it's another one of those um, Dover books. Thin volume, most of these are. I have not read this one yet. This is 1995 from the Dover Thrift Editions. 1995. All right, here's a biography on a revolutionary hero, The Swamp Fox of the Revolution by Stuart H. Holbrook. Of course, The Swamp Fox, Marian, uh, Francis Marion. This is a, another one of those older... Uh, landmark biographies. Uh, so from Random House out of New York, and it's a 1959. 
Next one on the shelf is, I wish I'd been there. 20 historians bring to life dramatic events that changed America. And so this has got a whole bunch of different uh, authors that helped out with this book. Uh, some of the big names, uh, Mary Beth Norton, Carol Birkin, uh, Joseph Ellis, uh, Robert Romini, Paul Nagel, um, Philip Coonhart, Thomas Fleming, Jay Winnick. Um, you know, the list goes on and on. There's a bunch, Jeffrey Ward. There's a bunch of them that are big name authors in this book. Very worth uh, looking at. Nice short stories. Anchor Books, Division of Random House out of New York. And this is a 2007 edition. Picked that up off of a discount rack. I want to say Barnes and Noble, might have been somebody else, but one of the bookstores I found it. Uh, here's a here's a sports book, Basketball's Greatest Teams by Al Hirschberg. Now, this one is probably more for nostalgia. Picked it up from the library when they were getting rid of some stuff. This is by uh, G. P. Putnam's Sons out of New York, and it's a 1965, so very dated. This is more for like I said, just nostalgia purposes. I like sports, so. Um, here is a, a missionary work, Cannibal Valley by Russell T. Hitt. The heroic struggle for Christ in savage New Guinea, the most perilous mission frontier in the world, a missionary classic. And I have read this. This was um, very, very interesting. I know, I know there's some channels out there that like the, the missionary work. Uh, this is from the Zondervan Publishing House, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And it is 1962. Uh, like I said, I know there's some uh, some booktubers out there that like that stuff. And, and so I would recommend it. It was quite interesting. Uh, Herndon's Life of Lincoln. New introduction by Henry Steele Commager. And, uh, of course, William Herndon was Lincoln's law partner and wrote... One of the first full-length biographies on Lincoln. Uh, so it says, The History and Personal Recollections of Abraham Lincoln, as originally written by William H. Herndon and Jesse Week, with an introduction and notes by Paul Angle. And, and of course, Angle's another uh, Lincoln historian the, who's who's got several books out. A DeCapo paperback, and it is... Let's see, 1983, this copy is, 1983. Okay, next one on the shelf is Roots, The Saga of an American Family by Alex Haley. And uh, this is a kind of a beast of a book. It's, it's quite large. I've read some of it. I haven't read all of it. You can see where I'm at there. Um, my daughter next year as a senior, they have to read this for their English class and uh, they read that uh, the entire book, and so that'll be a that'll be a good read for her. Um, so Howard Howard Zinn's book, A People's History of the United States, 1492 to the Present, and uh, if you're familiar with Howard Zinn, he always gives that alternative look at history uh, in U.S. history. He um, when I do my DBQs at school, the document-based questions, I try to get perspectives from both, you know, both sides of the story, different perspectives. And Howard Zinn is used quite often as the alternative perspective. But uh, this is a pretty famous work. Let's see, uh, Perennial Classics. And this is a 1999, nope, excuse me, 2001 edition. This one's 2001. And I think my daughter was hollering at me that they read it this year. Yeah. Okay, never mind. They read it as juniors. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, big book regardless. Roots. Talking about Roots. Um, and then the last one in this bookshelf tour, Nations of the World. This is Hawthorne's uh, United States. This is volumes two and three. Do not have volume one. Wish I did because I hate reading a series of books if I don't have the entire set. This is United States from the landing of Columbus to the signing of the peace protocol with Spain by Julian Hawthorne um, from, let's see, out of New York, Peter Fenelon Collier. And let's see, copyright of 1898. So these have got some age to them. And then 
volume three, the last book on the shelf. Volume three is, let's see, uh, all the same thing. Yep, and it was in 1898. So anyway, BookTube, I hope you enjoyed this bookshelf tour. This has been the in the upper room, second bookcase, the one, two, three. This is the fourth shelf down. And uh, please remember, I added in a shelf on these cases. So in the last video, I said that the tour number 17, that was shelf number four. Well, now it's shelf number five. So anyway, um, not to get, can get you confused. But uh, anyway, that's been the shelf tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.